Hey guys and welcome back to another War Within gold farming video. In this one I'm going to be showing you a really good solo gold farm that anyone can do and you don't need any professions. What we're going to be farming for is the odd glob of wax. So we're going to be doing the wax farm and we're going to be buying the box of rocks. Now to do this I'll show you exactly how to do everything and how it works. But basically we're also going to be farming a few other items whilst doing this. You also get the profound tinder boxes, which sell for a lot of gold, and also the null stones. And these also sell for a decent amount of gold and very quickly. On top of that, you get a mixture of different materials when doing this farm. Now to start this off, you want to head over to this location right here in the ringing deeps. And now what you're going to do at this location, if you have not already done a quest, there is a quest right here and we are going to have to finish this to be able to unlock the vendor that we spend the wax on. So basically what we're going to be doing is gathering up the wax and then you turn the wax in and in return you can buy the boxes of rocks which have materials in them. So to do the quest you want to pick it up and then you need to pick up 10 of the wax around the map. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fly around and we are going to collect 10 of the odd globs of wax. Now basically these are just like dirt piles on the ground. There is a setting where you can turn it on so things are highlighted and this will make them highlighted as a purple highlight around them which really helps out with spotting them. Now these are located all around the new zones in the War Within. There are a few locations that I personally like doing better. In the Halo 4 for an example that zone seems to be the best but I will show you the best spot to do it a bit further on in the video. But first of all, we need to finish off this quest. So once you've got the 10 glob of the wax, you wanna go ahead and you wanna hand in this quest right here. And now what this will do is basically allow you to do another quest, which will give you a bag inside of your bags that you can open up. And this will allow you to then unlock basically this vendor. And also there is a wax contributor. And this is where you're going to basically collect the wax hand it into this guy and in return you will get a currency that you can spend on this vendor right here to buy the boxes of rocks. Now the boxes of rocks are by far the best ones to buy because you can get the null stones from them. So as you can see we've got the bag in our inventory right now so we need to go ahead and open this up. And Now once we've opened this up we'll basically complete the quest and we can talk to the guy once again and this will unlock the vendor for us. So let's go ahead and speak to this guy once again. So this guy, and here is the quest. We need to go ahead, sorry, and buy this right here first, the bag. That will complete the quest right there. And now what we can do is actually use this guy and use the vendor. So let's go ahead and browse his goods. And as you can see, there is the, the box of rocks. And this is going to be the one that gives us the most amount of gold from spending our currency. So now what we can do is we can go over and we can farm the wax. Now this location seems to be the best. There is about four different farm locations at this location right here in Halo 4. Now there are two different methods of collecting the wax. Uh, first of all, I'll show you the one where you basically stay in this location right here. There is about four different farms as you can see and they have a really high density and a really good spawn rate on the dirt piles that have the wax in them. Now when you click on the dirt piles, there'll be some mini events. There's about five different ones that you can do. Sometimes it'll spawn a mob that you'll have to kill and then you loot the wax from doing that. Sometimes it'll just pop up a dirt pile. Um, other times there's like little events where it'll shoot you up in the air and you've got to land on a certain location. There's about five different ones and they're all very, very easy. But basically what you're going to be doing is just flying around these farms and looking for the dirt piles. Now it really helps to have the setting on where it will highlight the dirt piles so it has a highlight of purple color around them just so you can see them a lot easier. But this is the first method. You're basically just flying around in this very small location, just going around in a circle. And whenever you see one of the dirt piles, you go down and you go ahead and you click on it, you do the mini event, you get that wax, and then you keep on going around. Now when you actually are looting the wax, you can get a bunch of different materials, like there is a wide range of different materials, and other things like the profound tinderbox. Now the second method to do this is you can actually just fly around the full zone. Now when you're doing the flying around the full zone, with this method you can actually pair this with a good jewel gathering, 
And um, while you're flying around and looking for the dirt piles of the wax, you can also do your jewel gathering, and this will really make a lot more steady gold. Um, the other method where you just go around the farms, you won't really need professions there because you're just going around in a very small location. But if you're doing this second method where you're flying around the full zone and you're looking for the wax and also doing jewel gathering, you definitely would want to have jewel gathering for this. And what I mean by jewel gathering is having mining and herbalism whilst you're doing this. The best zone to do this in is in Halo 4. This has the best and high density of both, both the wax and also for the best nodes for mining and herbalism. So I'd highly recommend doing this in Halo 4. If it's going around the full location or around that location at the farms. But as you can see, we just got a tinder box from basically just clicking and looting the wax from the ground. So this is a big way that will increase the amount of gold that you make per hour. It is RNG, but sometimes you can get a few of these per hour, which will really bump up the amount of gold that you make when collecting the wax. So what we want to do is we want to head over to the wax vendor. Now once you're here and you've got a bunch of wax, you want to click on the guy next to him and it says wax contribute. And you want to go ahead and you want to use all your wax on this guy right here by just clicking on contribute. And basically what this will do is it will give you the firelight ruby. And now this ruby is basically a currency for the vendor. And this is what we're going to use to go ahead and buy the boxes from the vendor. Now the box that we want to go ahead and actually buy, and we always want to use this one, it gives the most amount of gold, is this one right here, the waxy box of rocks. Now we want to use this one because we can get the null stone inside of this. And null stones sell for a lot of gold. So basically you just want to click, open up the waxy box of rocks, as you can see, we've got a bunch of different rocks and mining materials that we can sell up on the auction house. Let's go ahead and open up the second one right here. And now these can have null stones in them. So this is what's going to make the big amount of gold. And as you can see, we actually just got a null stone right there. And this is worth 5,390 gold at the moment on the NA region of as of recording the video. So if you get a few of these, it can really bump up the gold per hour and also the profound tinder boxes. That was it for the video. If you have any questions, comment down below in the comments and I'll help you out with any questions. If you wanna check out my gold making guide or my flipping guide for retail, there is a bundle deal, we can get them a bit cheaper. However, if you're just interested in my gold making guide for retail, you can go ahead and get that by itself. It'll be the first link down below in the description box. This is a guide that I've worked on for years now. It goes over all of the best ways to make gold in retail World of Warcraft. So if you want to check it out, it's linked down below. Till next one, take care.